All right, you guys, welcome to story time. What do we always start story time with? Which one? Right. Are you ready? Wait, who's going to help me sing? All right, ready? Uh, oh, wait for me. All right, ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Play them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in, in, in. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Play them in your lap, lap, lap. Hi, girls. Good job, you guys. All right. I know you don't want a song, you want a story. And our first story today is called Betty Goes Bananas. All right, let's see what happens with Betty. Why does she go bananas? I don't know. Are you ready? Who's ready? All right. Betty was hungry. She saw a banana and she wanted to eat it. But the banana would not open. Betty tried using her hands and her teeth and even her feet. And then, suddenly, Betty cried, Wah! And she sniffed. <laughs> and she kissed. And she screamed. Ah! Until finally, she calmed down. There is no need for that, said Mr. Toucan. Watch, I'll show you how to peel a banana. So, Mr. Toucan showed Betty how to peel a banana. But, the banana was Betty's, and she wanted to peel it. Betty looked at the banana, and she looked at Mr. Toucan, and looked at the banana again, and then suddenly, Betty cried, Mwah! and she sniffed, <laughs> and she kicked, <laughs> bang, 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 and she screamed, Mwah! until finally, she calmed down. There is no need for that, said Mr. Toucan. You can peel the banana the next time you have one. Betty started to eat the banana. But the banana broke. Oh, oh. Betty cried. And she sniffed, <laughs> and she kicked, and she screamed even louder, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Until finally, she calmed down. There is no need for that, said Mr. Toucan. Or would you like me to have the banana? Betty ate the banana. And the banana was delicious. Yum. And then suddenly, Betty saw another banana. And what do you think's going to happen with that banana? You think she's going to say, Wow! Yeah. She might. All right. And that's the end. So what do you think? Thumbs up? Thumbs down. Thumbs up? Everybody likes it? All right. Let's do 
Now, what did you promise me last time we had story time? What did you promise? Not to wake me up. Not to wake me up. Bought me to lose his life. So, ready? Oh, the incy wincy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the incy wincy spider went up the spout again. Very good. Now the big and honest. Oh, the big enormous spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the big enormous spider went up the spout again. Good job. All right, now. Very quiet. Tomorrow, I'm going to tell the babies how quiet you were. They get a little bit quiet. They try to be as quiet as you. All right, now you have to be crazy. I think you can be crazy, right? Yeah. Oh, the very crazy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the very crazy spider went up the spout again. All right, sleepy. Oh, the very sleepy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And a very sleepy spider. What did you promise me? You said you weren't going to wake me up, right? I didn't wake you up. You didn't? Thank you. You, you woke me up too? All right. Let's do the grumpy bird. What's grumpy? Is the grumpy bird happy like this? No. Or is the grumpy bird? The grumpy bird is grumpy. He's grumpy. All right. You ready for the grumpy bird? Let's see what's so grumpy about him. When bird woke up, he was grumpy. Look at him. Does he look grumpy? Yeah. He does. He was too grumpy to eat. He was too grumpy to play. In fact, he was too grumpy to fly. Looks like I'm walking today, said Bird. Bird walked past Sheep. Good morning, Bird, said Sheep. What are you doing? Walking, said Bird. Night, said Sheep. I'll keep you company. Bird walked past Rabbit. Hi there, Bird, said Rabbit. What are you doing? I'm walking, said Bird. It's no fun. I could use some exercise, said Rabbit. I'll walk too. Bird walked past what? Raccoon. Hey, Bird, said Raccoon. What are you doing? I'm walking, snapped Bird. What does it look like? It looks like fun, said Raccoon. I'm going to come too. Bird walked past Beaver. Hello, Bird, said Beaver. What are you doing? Let me give you a hint, said Bird. You do it by placing one foot in front of the other. Walking, guessed Beaver. I love walking. Bird walked past Fox. Good day, Bird, said Fox. What are you doing? Why does everyone want to know what I'm doing, said Bird. 
I'm just walking, okay? Okay, said the fox. Let's go. The bird walked, and the other animals walked. See them all following him? Yep. They're still walking. The bird stopped. The other animals stopped. The bird stood on one leg. All the other animals, what? Stood on one leg. They're all copying bird. Bird jumped. The other animals jumped. Hey, this is fun, said Bird. Does he look grumpy anymore? No, he looks funny. Come on, said Bird, who had forgotten all about being grumpy. Let's fly back to my nest for a snack. And they all did. So the bird got happy, right? He did. All right. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Thumbs up. I like Grumpy Bird, too. Okay. Now, Brescia. Who likes this story? I don't know. I'm going to make a lot of magic with this story. What do you think? Are you guys ready? What do you see there? What? How many yellow? Yellow what? A yellow bird? A yellow dot. A yellow dot. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Press here and turn the page. Shall I do it? I don't know what's going to happen if I do it, though. I'm going to press. I'll close my eyes. Tell me what I did. I hope I didn't put a hole in the page. Great. Now press the yellow dot again. Shall I do it? what I can do. Every time I press a dot, I make another one. Perfect. Rub the dot on the left gently. All right. That was, you think that was gently? Oh, what? I turned it into red. Well done. And now rub the one on the right. Shall I? I did it gently. Oh, I turned blue. Fabulous! Now, five quick taps on the yellow. You guys count. One, two, three, four, five. Oh! I know! And now, five taps on the red one. One, two, three, four, five. I'm afraid to look. And finally, five taps on the blue. I don't know what's going to happen now. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. Perfect. It says perfect. Now it says try shaking the book just a little bit. Shall I shake it? Is that a little bit? Let's see. Oh! Not bad. Now it says try shaking it a little bit harder. Are you ready? A little harder? I don't even know what's going to happen now. Oh! There. Well done. Now tilt the page to the left just to see what happens. Might be this left. Oh, and look what happened when I tilted it. Where did they go? I better tilt it now to the right a little bit more. Oh! Excellent. Now, shake the book one more time just to get everything back in order. I think everything should go back in its place. Oh! Hmm. Very interesting. Now, try pressing down really hard on all the yellow dots. Okay, really hard now. One, two, three, four, 
five. You think that was hot enough? Oh, what did I do? That's funny. Turn the lights back on. Try pressing them all again. One, two, three, four, five. Hope I turn the lights back on. Oh, where did they all go? Perfect. Now press hard on all the dots. Really, really hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh oh. I'm going to close my eyes. Tell me what I did. <laughs> Not bad. Now it says to shake them up a little. Uh-oh. I'm afraid to turn the page. What do you think? Turn it. Oh! Pretty, isn't it? Doesn't that look pretty? Try blowing on them to get rid of the black. Blow as hard as you can. Let's see if you got rid of it. Oh! Hmm. Maybe just blow a little bit harder. All right, you think you did it this time? Oh! You blew everything away! Oops, that might have been a little too hard. Stand the book up straight to make those dots drop down again. All right, is that nice and straight? All right, let's see if I made it, made them straight. Oh, there you go. Now, can you guys clap your hand one time like this? Just one. Let's see what happens when you clap. You made them grow. Whoa, can you clap two times? Clap, clap. What did you do now? Oh! You made them get even bigger. Okay, guess what? It says clap three times. One, two, three. Uh-oh, maybe they got little again. They're huge. You made them huge. All right, clap some more. Oh, keep clapping, keep clapping. Whoa, more, more, clap some more. Oh, too loud, quick. Somebody press that white dog. Let me see. And look what you did all again. Bravo. Want to try it all over again? No. No. <laughs> okay. no. Now we're going to do Lizard's song. Are you ready for Lizard? Maybe you'll remember his song. I hope you do. Lizard lived in the mountains of the West. He liked it there, and he lived on this big, flat rock. He was so happy living there that he often made up songs. They were not fancy songs, but they were his. And almost every day he would dance on his rock singing a song. Zoli, Zoli, Zoli. Zoli, Zoli, Zoli. Rock is my home. Rock is my home. Zoli, Zoli, Zoli. And one day, Bear heard him singing. And Bear was the kind who, when he saw something he liked, he took it. Bear liked Lizard's song, and he wanted it. He ran up to Lizard's rock, and he said, Teach me that song, Lizard. I want it. Lizard was glad to share his song. Sit down, he said. I will sing it over and over until you know it. Zoli, Zoli, Zoli. Zoli, Zoli, Zoli. Rock is my home. Rock is my home. 
Zoli, Zoli, Zoli. And he had to sing it 10 times before Bear learned it. I know it now, said Bear. And off he went, singing and dancing. Zoli, Zoli, Zoli. Zoli, Zoli, Zoli. Rock is my home. Bear was so busy singing, he didn't see the pond. Quack, 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 quack. The ducks ran past Br uh, Bear and flew right off past his nose. Bear was so startled, he forgot the song. He ran back to Lizard's Rock. Lizard, teach me that song again. I forgot. Lizard sang the song over and over again. Zoli, Zoli, Zoli. After the twelfth time, Bear said, I know it, I know it. And off Bear went. Bear was very proud of his song, and he went singing and dancing across the land. Zoli, Zoli, Zoli. Zoli, Zoli, Zoli. Swish! A rabbit jumped out of its hole and right past Bear. Bear chased after it, but the rabbit was faster. The rabbit got away, and so did the song. The rabbit, Bear could not even remember a single note. Not even Z, 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 can't remember. He started back to Lizard's Rock. Lizard said, Bear, teach me that song. Bear asked time and time again, but Lizard was asleep. He didn't hear a word. Bear did not know what to do. He thought and he thought, and he quickly scooped Lizard up in a sack. He was going to take Lizard home with him. That's what he would do. And Bear had Lizard in the sack, but it was a very quiet trip home. No song to sing no dances to do. As he walked along, the sack swung about, and Lizard woke up. No sun, no moon. All Lizard could see was dark. Lizard was scared, and quietly he began to sing his song. Zoli, 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 Here's my home. Rock, here's my home. And Bear heard him. He stopped and he dropped the sack. Lizard, teach me that song. I want it. Bear, said Lizard as he crawled out of the sack. My song is about rocks. My song is about me. What about you, Bear? What is your home? Den is my home, answered Bear. Den is my home. And Lizard thought, and he smiled and then began to sing. Zoli, 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 Zoli. Rock is my home. What is your home? Zoli, Zoli, Zoli. Bear listened twice and then began to sing too. Zoli, 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 Zoli. Den is my home, den is my home. Zoli, Zoli, Zoli. And that's the end. Now, what would you guys sing? What would we sing? Zoli, 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 Zoli. House is my home, house is my home. Zoli, Zoli, Zoli. Very good job, you guys. Is it? Um, should we have one more story? Are you guys done? I'm, I'm ready one more? for another story. I'm okay. Ready for okay. All right. We're going to finish with my favorite. Shark in the park. Okay. Who's ready? Now, what does that fin look like? A shark. It looks just like a shark. So let's see. 
where there's a shark in this park. Down at the park, a little boy is testing out his brand new toy. Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope is looking through his telescope. He looks at the sky. He looks at the ground. He looks to the left. Looks to the right and he looks all around. And this is what he sees. What a nasty surprise. In his loudest voice, Timothy cries, There's a shark in the park. Does it look like a shark? Ah, a shark. Fancy that. It's only a cat. Did we fool you? All right, Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope looks again through his telescope. He looks at the sky, he looks at the ground, he looks to the left, he looks to the right, and he looks all around. And this is what he sees. What a terrible sight, Timothy yells with all his might, there's a shark in the park! A shark? Oh no, it's just a crow. And the crow says, caw, caw. I did. Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope has one more look through his telescope. He looks at the what? Sky. He looks at the ground. He looks to the left. He looks to the right, and he looks all around. And this is what he sees. Tim's not in any doubt. What do you think he's about to shout? There's a shark in the park. Oh, a shark? No, it's not. And aren't you glad? As a matter of fact, it's Timothy's dad. And Timothy's dad said, it's time to go home, Timothy. Timothy Pope says, it's safe to say there are no sharks in the park today. You think it is? You think that time it's a real shark? Okay. All right, well, that's the end. Thank you guys for coming to Storytime. We had a great time. Um, I, I don't know how many of you know that this is going to be televised and on television, and it's a collaboration between the Somerville Library and SCAT TV. So, I'm glad you guys could come. You were very special today. You had two story times, didn't you? So, you want to finish up with Ring Around the Rosie? Yeah. All right, let's do that quickly. We'll have a little bit of fun. Fun. No, you don't have to. You don't have to. I right, hold hands over there. Ready? Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Cows in the meadow eating buttercups. Lightning, thunder, we all jump up. All right, great job today, you guys.